Before the video begins, make sure to check out our sponsor, Rocket Prices. It is a website where you can both buy and sell Rocket League items for money. The link will be in the description down below, and as always, make sure you use the code HAND for a 3% discount. Hello and welcome to the first episode of our Nothing to Something series. Now guys, I asked you guys with a uh, community post and I basically said, with YouTube videos, do you play it safe or uh, is it go big or go home? And of course, all of you guys, except for one person, said go big or go home. So you weren't like, oh, hey, head avatar, you can just do like a, oh, I don't think there's something to set, because you know, you said that's pretty quick and easy. No, we're going to be doing nothing to Apex, guys. Like, come on. Why have you done this to me? <laughs> but honestly, I'm going to say it's easy. Okay, it's, it's going to take a little bit of time, but I'm going to say it's easy because the main thing that stands between anybody and getting to the end goal of whatever kind of like set or item they want to get to, of course, using nothing, using literally a baseball cap, that's what we're going to start with, is time and how wisely you spend your time and how wisely you trade. So I will say on this series, I'm going to be trading for profit. Usually when I do trades, I generally don't trade for profit. I trade so that we both are happy and get a good deal. I'm still going to try and make it so we both kind of get a good deal, but I will be looking for profit where I can. So um, trading for items worth more than my item and people are like looking for that specific thing that I have, that kind of thing. Um, so, so yeah, we're going to be doing nothing to Apex set. Um, I would like to just say right now that Titanium White Apex is literally 92 to 100,000 credits, which I don't even want to say how much money that is if you were to buy it. Like, uh, hang on, let's <clears throat> calculate it by credits. Okay, 6,500 is, is 75.95 Australian dollars. That's with a plus 29%. Um, we're not going to do that because we want to make it look awesome and more cool. So we're going to calculate it as if 500 credits is 7.55 Australian dollars, which is standard pricing. And boom, it's up there on the screen. I'm going to do that in editing because I'm bad at math. So <laughs> that's probably a bad thing for the series. But it's going to just pop up there on the screen for you guys. Um, so basically, yeah, without further ado, without further ado. Okay, I'm stumbling over my words here. I'm actually really excited for this. I wanted to do this series for like such a long time, but... I, I couldn't do it because we couldn't make a new account. Um, I didn't even say, um, I will not be able to show credits in archive because that is, that they won't let you archive credits as you can see there. Um, so if we do get credits, and of course we will along the line and everything, I will have like a credit counter probably at the start, end of each video, and then also possibly during the trade. We'll see how lazy I get because um, I'm going to be doing the editing for this, I think. Oh, going to dust off the editing gloves. But yeah, let's, let's get into it. Let's do some trades. <laughs> let's do it <laughs> alrighty guys let's start it off so we have our baseball cap that we're going to be trading for 40 credits and some limiteds which are really nice for trading really nice trade by crazy he wanted to help us start off the series we were then able to trade the limiteds for two exotics that you can see right there we traded the forest green non-credit exotic for two painted limited cars the two ronin gxts right there we then traded the reactor for 100 credits, the max price, which is an awesome trade. Thank you so much for that. Really helped out with the series. We were then able to trade 80 credits for two import cars, one of them which is a painted cobalt samurai. We were then able to trade 30 of our credits that we've gotten so far for a saffron balakara. From there, we then traded our cobalt samurai and another 30 credits for cobalt lighting, which was worth 100, so that was good. We then traded a Jaeger for a Lime certified FGSP, which has got a higher kind of trading value. We then traded a Cobalt Ronin uh, to Padrite, who was really eager to help us along with the series. He had a lot of items, a lot of limiteds and everything that he wanted to get rid of in bulk, and he wanted to put them towards the series. Um, I was more than happy to accept it this early in the series to help it go along. We were then able to trade a Photon, Sentio, and Kalos for 90 credits and a Painted Limited. Then a Photon Nioyo for Anodized Pearl and Sky Blue Twinza. Sky Blue Twinza is 100. Saffron Balakara for a painted Diestro FGSP and Metalwork. We were then able to trade one of our painted limiteds for a Sky Blue Devil Horn just because people like to trade those, they're a collectible. 
We were then able to do our first big trade of the entire series. Ethan was awesome. He was willing to take uh, a value overpay of all the items we've collected so far for a parallax black market worth 700 credits. We were then able to sell the parallax black market for 650 pure credits and some limited ads, which were helpful later in the series as well. We were then able to get our first Apex of the entire series by trading all of our credits, a bunch of limiteds. It's only in editing that I realized my mistake and I accidentally, um, <laughs> accidentally archived a wheel which wasn't part of it. I thought it was, that is my bad. But we did manage to get an Apex and we still have one or two limiteds left for part two. So if you guys do want to see a part two, if we're going to keep on going like this, please like the video, share it around. And hopefully we can get on our way to getting the next in the set. Hopefully we can go towards maybe a burnt sienna next episode. But yeah, thank you so much for watching guys and catch you all next time.